Hi everyone, I'm Jen Allen. In today's workout, we will need a pumpkin and a mat. That's all. You're gonna be doing some interval training and using the pumpkin like you would a medicine ball. So the pumpkin should weigh somewhere between, oh, maybe five, eight, 10, 12 pounds, depending on what you want to, or how heavy you want to work and what you're used to working with. Today's class has two purposes. First of all, for those of you who teach fitness classes and are looking for ideas, I'm gonna give you a ton of ideas to use with the pumpkin. And for those of you who don't teach and are just here for a workout, you're just gonna get a great workout with a lot of variety using a pumpkin as your weighted ball. So grab a pumpkin, grab a mat, make sure you've got a little bit of space and be prepared to have fun. I go and buy pumpkins for my classes in the beginning of October, and then I store them in a closet, and I pull them out for multiple classes. Sometimes I do 30, 30 second intervals on and off. Sometimes I put them in a row or a circuit and make the people change the pumpkins so that they don't know which weight they're gonna be using for each exercise. And sometimes I do some Tabata training. But today, we're just gonna work, rest, work, rest, work, rest, and focus on all the different things we can do with the pumpkin as our ball. I've been teaching a class at the gym called FIT, and I use that as functional and fun, integrated and individual. So integrate your whole body and everything you do and make it individual to you. Interval between strength and cardio, and then use lots of different ways to train. So this week we'll be using the pumpkin. So grab the pumpkin, set it down next to you, make sure you've got a mat and some space, let's warm up. Roll your shoulders, give it a little squat as you roll. Make that roll a little bit bigger as you pull your elbows up, lift, and lift. Bigger arm circles, up and around, up and around, lift. Now just take it side to side with a twist. Rotate, 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 rotate. Now if you've got a pumpkin that's a little bigger maybe than you want, when we do the moves with a pumpkin, you can definitely slow the moves down. If you have something that's a little lighter, wish you had something heavier, then when we do the moves, I will tell you how long you're gonna be working for, just adjust the way you move. Now swing arms side to side, side to side. Give a little toe tap and a hamstring curl holding back. Back to the toe. Now keep those feet planted and a big circle with the arms up and around, up and around, up and around. Add the legs, four, three, two, reverse it, going up. Now just squat down and up, hands to the thighs, give it a little pressure on the legs. Now stay low and belly button. Pull up, pull up. Now take your shoulders, forward shoulder push. Good, step out and swing, out, out. Bring those feet a little closer together, bring it more down to a knee lift. Have those arms reaching up and pulling across. Elbows out in rotation, kick it forward. Now the elbows. Pull in the knees. Feet close together, give me that squat pushing forward with the arms. Lift those toes. Now lift the heels as you push the heels down. Warming up those ankles, those feet. In four. Give me a little march, deep breath in. Exhale, roll the shoulders, pick up the pumpkin. Take a hold of that pumpkin, put it up like a goblet squat, and take those legs to separate them apart. For the next 30 seconds, squat with the pumpkin. Now, you don't have to follow me. You don't have to follow rhythm of music. I don't care how many you do. You can go faster, slower, but you've got 30 seconds of work. You're halfway there, 15 more seconds. Now, that pumpkin's gonna start feeling a little heavier as we go. You've got four, 
set it down for a second. Good. Okay, a little recovery. Have a little bit of space. Take the pumpkin up in your hands. Moving side to side, hip to hip. 30 seconds. Go. Side to side. Hip to hip. So again, as I talk about the new class I've been teaching at the gym, fun. Things should be fun when you're working out. They all should be functional. They should mimic things you do around your life. They should be individual for you, but you also should feel the, feel the integration of the whole body in every move that you do. Four seconds more, and then it's fun to train different ways and in different amounts of time. And stop. Good, set it down for a second. Give it a little recovery, shake it off. This is where you could grab water, just kind of give it a rest. Okay, pick up that pumpkin. It's going all the way down to the ground, all the way over your head. It goes down to the ground, all the way over your head. So you've got 30 seconds. And you can add speed. And you can also slow down. So very individual. You've got five seconds left. Rest and set the pumpkin aside for a second. Okay, again, depending on how heavy your pumpkin is, adjust how you work. Pick up that pumpkin, set it on the ground and place your right foot in front of it, the left foot behind it, so you're in a lunge. Now, as you go down, that pumpkin should be between the two legs. You're gonna to touch it and lift up. You can add a jump if you'd like. Here we go, 30 seconds. Okay, so if you're not jumping, you're dropping that back knee, trying to get down to that pumpkin every time. I like 30 seconds. It's not so scary that it feels like it's gonna to be too long. It's short enough that you can really go hard, especially as you get to the end of it. You're about 10 seconds away. So it seems doable, especially to push some intensity. Finish it up in three and rest. Hey, take a second to catch your breath. Maybe grab a drink of water. And then we stick that left foot in front to repeat. I like to mix up my work rest ratios at uh, class. Sometimes we do Tabatas, 2010s. Sometimes we do a whole minute on and 30 seconds off. This one I'm giving you about 30 on and about 15, 20 off. Okay, here we go. Touch the pumpkin and come back up. Start there. If it feels like you can give a little more, add a little jump. Try to get down low enough to touch the pumpkin every time. Halfway. Ten to go. So you can wrap up these last five. Feeling like at the end, you really need that recovery. Stop. Good. Take a rest. Then we pick up the pumpkin on the next one. You're doing something called stir the pot. As you pick your pumpkin up, put it at your chest. Bring your toes to a corner. The move is going to step into the next corner with a stirring motion with the arms. 30 seconds, go. Integrate the core. Use your legs. Add some coordination as you stir with the pumpkin. Halfway. Five seconds. Finish it up. Good. Set your pumpkin down. Take a second to breathe and relax. No recovery. Some of the moves are higher cardio, some of the moves are more strength and core. But anytime you integrate the whole body, it's a pretty, pretty good, intense session. Pick up that pumpkin, bring it over your head, pull your knees. High to the pumpkin. 
holding 30 seconds. Let the pumpkin come down into the leg. Halfway. Got some good biceps as you come down, shoulders as you press up, abdominals. Five seconds to go. Rest. Good. Set it down. That little break in between is nice mentally as well. Okay, I want you to think of the next one as trying to figure eight from your hip to your other hip. Integrating as many legs, feet, arms, and core. Soften these wide stance. Three, two, one. Figure eight. From hip to hip. So again, 30 seconds is long enough to really focus on the move, learn something about it, apply what you're learning, and then challenge it. Challenging it can come from faster, deeper, bigger, sometimes slower can be more challenging. Five, two, one, set it down. How big is your pumpkin? <laughs> I think mine's about 11, 12 pounds, so I'm definitely feeling every move that we're doing here. Nice big deep breath. Okay, the next one is a strength exercise. As you pick your pumpkin up, soften your knees and hinge. So your hips are back, your body is forward. Pumpkin is down, and we're gonna just bend over, roll that pumpkin to the chest. Here we go. Let's get it the pumpkin's light. A little more speed. Bend over, roll. So it's not a lot of cardio on this one, but you are integrating more than just the arms. The position of the hips, even the head and the neck. And about five seconds left. Set the pumpkin down. As you prepare to do the next exercise, we're going to do tricep dips on it. Sometimes the flat side of your pumpkin is on its side, so the challenge is the way, shape of the pumpkin. Mine's pretty round, so I'm going to put mine down. As you come down and place your hands on the pumpkin, push into the pumpkin and lift your hips. Now, 30 seconds, tricep dips. You want to really push the pumpkin to stabilize it. You got it. Halfway. Five. Rest. Bring your head up above your heart and stand yourself back up for the next move. As you're transitioning, place the pumpkin on the ground in front of you. Doing some power jack squats. So as they come down, alternate the hand that touches the pumpkin on the squat. We're going for about 30 seconds again. Be ready to go in three, two, one. Down. Touch. Halfway. Five seconds left. Rest. Take a second. Grab water if you need it. Be ready to go in a few seconds. This one's going to be a deadlift. Pumpkin will be in your hand. One foot forward, one foot back, barely on its toes. The down of the pump can be up in a deadlift. Keeping your body nice and straight with a little softness in your knee. Option to kick the back leg up. Pick up your pumpkin, step forward, other toe back, let the pumpkin hang. Start to lower your chest forward towards your front foot, 
Use your back of your hamstring to bring it up. Keep all the weight in your front foot. If you feel like it, you can lift your back leg. So we've got a balance challenge. I like to incorporate the six skills of fitness in my cardio classes. A, B, C, agility, balance, coordination, then the PQRS, power, the jumping you just did, the quick reaction, and speed. Five seconds, rest. Take a second to reset and put the other leg in front. Just barely any weight on the back foot. So when you go down, you're focusing into pushing into that opposite hip with all the weight in it with the soft knee. Ready, set, go. You're down and up. Once you feel balanced, you can add the back leg kick. Not a big cardio move, but we came from one. So that's where the interval. Sometimes we interval between cardio and strength. We have those little rests to reset. You've got three seconds, two, and one. Good. If you need to, set the pumpkin down for a second, grab a drink of water. Then pick that pumpkin back up. This one's going to be a little more cardio. Bring it to the chest. Alternate lunges behind you and let the pumpkin naturally twist from shoulder to shoulder. You want a little more? You give it a little hop in between the switch. Shoulder to shoulder, and you twist over the leg that's in front of you. You're halfway. Last five. Rest. We have lots of different moves. So many different things you can do with a pumpkin. Next one I'm going to call stir the pot again, but it's different than the first one. Come into a wide plie squat. Pick up your pumpkin, bring it in. As you stir the pot, it's going to continuously go one direction. Starting to one side, you choose. Ready, go. Integrate legs. Integrate the abdominals. Find the shoulders. Find the back. Ten seconds left. Brace that belly. Protect the back. Three, two, rest. Okay, we're gonna go the other direction. Nice big deep breaths. I'm giving you anywhere between about 15 to 30 seconds in a recovery, depending on the move we did before it. Bend your knees, pick the pumpkin up. Ready? Go the other direction. When you incorporate legs, the more heart rate you get, the more integration of pelvis, shoulders, legs. Finish it and rest. That's a very big Pilates teacher. If you haven't ever done any of my Pilates classes, there's lots of them. That's what I really, really love to teach. But I also love to teach everything else. Teach cycling, water aerobics, TRX training, interval training, hip training, step aerobics, dance aerobics. I teach it all. But I use the principles of Pilates in everything I do, incorporating even here. Pick up that pumpkin, keep the legs wide. Now swing it back in between your legs and up. Then diagonal, then center, then other diagonal, then center. So it alternates the diagonals after every center. Use the principles, if you've done Pilates with me before, of bracing the core, control the moves, and then apply all those to cardio work. 
We've got about five seconds left. And rest. Good, set it down. Going into a push-up. Where hands are going to be on that pumpkin, you may want your knees on a mat, depending on if you want knees or feet. Narrow grip, elbows close to the side. So when you come into your push-up, it's a tricep push-up. Here we go. Side. And from here, pick up the pumpkin. This time we're going to draw a figure eight in front of us. So it starts at the top, comes to the middle, goes down, and back up and around. Start one direction, we'll do the other side next. Ready? 30 seconds of figure eights. Now, use your arms. Carve through the middle using waistline. Get down into your legs and then support the pumpkin you have in your hand. Halfway. Remember which direction you're going and feel it. Because as you finish the next five seconds, we're gonna take a quick rest and then go the other direction. Stop. Okay, so when you carve through the middle, you're engaging those waistline carving muscles. You go down into the legs, you carve the other direction, bringing it up over the head using the arms. Now think about how you went, and then go the other direction. Pick up the pumpkin, bring it over your head, go. Finish it up. Recover. Come to a seated position on your mat. Bring the pumpkin into your chest. Come back with the check pumpkin at your chest and then up, catch it. Ready? Go. As you catch it, bring it into you. Halfway. Finish strong. Five seconds. Rest, get your head above your heart and start making that transition to standing. As you bring the pumpkin back up into your hands, hold on to it. Narrow position, sit back and now push the pumpkin forward. So hips are going back, forward shoulder press. between the legs. Come down into a wider position. Jumping forward, center, back, and center. The center is over the pumpkin every time. These are little baby jumps. Here we go. Nice wide open. You'll get some inner thigh. Light on your feet. Quick on the jump. seconds left. Yes, good. Hey, that was a tough one. Shake it off. 
Picking up the pumpkin, getting down into that wide plie squat. As you come down, try to keep that pumpkin right up by your chest. And then we tilt side to side, elbow to elbow, 30 seconds. Integrate legs, abdominals, waistline, biceps are holding it. Halfway. Ooh. Almost there. Five. Rest, set it down. I like to call these when donkey jumps. Pumpkin down, hands on it, feet are on one side. They jump over the top to the other side. You got 30 seconds on this one. Ready, set, go. How fast, doesn't matter. How many, doesn't matter. Just trying to keep moving for the time. Halfway. Five. Rest. Good. Okay, that should have got that heart rate spiked. Next one is called a sunflower. Pick it up. Wide stance. Take it above your head. Now, depending on how heavy, might be here, might just be here. Take a big circle down, around, up. Huge full circle. Halfway. Last five. Rest, set it down. Well, that's a big one for arms, for sure. Nice big deep breath, we go the other direction. Pick the pumpkin up. Bring it up above you, somehow. Again, it could be here. Be fully extended, you're going to the other direction. Full circle. Integrate your legs into some lunges and squats. Doesn't matter how fast, doesn't matter how many, we don't need to stay together. That's why I don't count it. 10 seconds left. Finish. Three, two, wherever you are. Set it down for a second. Take a nice big deep breath. Place the pumpkin in your hand. Squat. This one, we're gonna start in a couple seconds, is gonna alternate a curtsy on each side with the pumpkin going over the standing leg. Here we go. Squat, other side. Squat, other side. Good. 10, five, rest, good, set it down. Place one foot right on the side of the pumpkin so the inside of the foot is on the pumpkin. This is called a runner's lunge. That leg bends, you're in a deep lunge. The hand supports the pumpkin. Other hand can be on the thigh supporting or out to the side. Tuck that back knee in as many times as you can. Notice you're staying low with your hand on the pumpkin. Almost there, five seconds. And rest. Take the other foot and place it in front of the pumpkin. Bring the hand down to the pumpkin and extend the other leg back behind you. 
Make sure your head is up. Hand to support the leg or it can be out to the side. Back knee comes in. Go. Tap. So you're rocking that weight right into that front hip. Ten seconds left. And rest. Step back a little. You need some room to jump forward. The pumpkin is between the feet. That's just a marker. Jumping forward. Big jump. And then run the feet back towards the pumpkin. Ready? Go. seconds left. Almost there. Three, two, rest. Good. Take a second. Breathe. Come to a seated position. I talk about balance a lot. Sometimes it's on your feet, one leg. Sometimes it's on a knee. Sometimes it's balancing an object which we don't realize takes a lot of effort. Pumpkin sits on the right hand at the right shoulder. Come back into the seeker. Take the other arm out to the side. Find a flat spot on the pumpkin. Now lift it a little higher, a little lower. Notice what it's doing to the oblique. Halfway. <laughs> Almost there. Rest. Sit up. Reposition. And we're going the other hand. So part of the work is to balance with that hand. The muscles being so engaged. Working through the core. Take the pumpkin on the flat side. It might be sideways. Other arm out, lean back, heels to ground, brace the belly. A little up, a little down. Whoa, I almost lost that one. Halfway. Keep the focus. Learn, apply, challenge. We're using that acronym a lot. It's called FLAC. We use it in TRX a lot. Focus, learn, apply, challenge. Almost there, set it down. Coming to your back. Let's do some strength work here while we're already down. Come to your back for some chest presses. Once you're down, bring the funk into your chest. Ready? Chest press, go up and down. Again, if your pumpkin's super light, you might want to just pump this one. Now mine's not super light, but chest is strong. So I'm still kind of powering up, power up, push. Chest is that pushing muscle, and it's a strong one. 10 seconds left. Finish it, recover. Stay down, and let's get a couple more strength exercises in here. This is a head banger. So the pumpkin goes in front of your face. When you bend your elbows, it comes down towards that forehead or right above it. Comes up in front of your face, not your chest. You wanna keep it in your triceps. Ready, set, go. Keep those elbows up. Let it gently touch the forehead. Push it right up above your face. Halfway. Finish it up. Three, two, rest. Bring it in. Next move is called a pullover. The weight or the pumpkin, I should say, will be above your head. 
Now think of a ski lift pulling down the bar in a semicircle towards your pelvis. Here we go. It's up over your head and down towards your pelvis. Engage those lats as you pull. Reach over, engage the lats as you pull. And you can do as many as you need to do in a 30 second amount of time. Five seconds left. Finish it and sit up. You might want to grab hold of your leg, bring yourself all the way up, bring your head above your heart. We're going to stand back up, get back to some cardio work. So move your mat. We will come back to it, so keep it close. Pick up the pumpkin. Take a wide stance. Now take the pumpkin to one shoulder. Bend your knees and it goes up and over the head to the other shoulder. It could also be all the way down to the leg, which is harder. Could be shoulder, could be leg. 10 seconds left. Finish it. Rest, set it down. As you rest, uh, let it go, shake it off. Bring the pumpkin in front of you. These are called loaded weighted lunges. When I step forward, alternating sides, I want to bring my foot right to the pumpkin, load the weight on it, step back, and bring the other one forward. By putting the hand down, forces you down. Get ready, alternating sides. One foot to the pumpkin. Then touch and push back. Integrate the body, back up, pull. Halfway. Good, almost there. Three, two, rest. Pick the pumpkin up. Make sure you have room in front of you. This one's gonna set your pumpkin down, then jump forward, reaching, jump back to the pumpkin, pick it up in a bicep curl. As you do that, as many times as you can in 30 seconds. Ready, set it down, jump forward. Pick it up, curl it. Halfway. Last five. Finish. Good. Set it down for a second and rest. Are we still okay out there? Think of the next move as a steering wheel. As a pumpkin is the steering wheel, it goes from side to side. I like to use a little bit of a rocking motion with my feet, almost like a boxer shuffle. 30 seconds, go. Ooh, bracing the core, feeling those abs on this one. Ten seconds left. Five. Set it down. Ooh, that one is so much harder than it looks. Nice deep breath. Let's see if we can get a few more exercises in. Place the hands on the pumpkin and anchor down. Come into that plank. Pulling the knees forward in a mountain climber. Push down to the pumpkin. Go. Halfway. Seven. Five. Three. 
rest. We do some push-ups, one-handed. If you would like a knee down, you may place knee down or both knees or feet. One hand on the pumpkin, other hand on the floor. Push-up position. Go. Doesn't matter how many, doesn't matter how fast. Ten seconds left. Recover. You gotta do the other side if it's asymmetrical. So one hand's gotta go on the pumpkin, one hand's gotta go on the floor, it's gotta be done with the other side. As you switch, place one hand off, one hand off. Ready? Go. Doesn't matter how many. Doesn't matter how fast. A little over halfway. Seven. Finish and rest. Okay. I'm going to bring you back up for a second. A couple more exercises standing. Move your mat. Pick the pumpkin up. Have a little bit of room to go sideways. As we shuffle down one, two, three with a little twist, it looks like this. Shuffle, 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 twist. Come with me now. Go. Last five. Rest. Now, these next moves are called up and over slams. Medicine ball, you usually bounce it. Boom. Don't do that with your pocket. Your weight's going to come over, catch hold, up and over, stop momentum from one side to the other. Bring it into the hands. Start on one side. Go. Think of going towards the knee. Up and over. Remember, it doesn't matter if it's fast. Doesn't matter if you add a jump and someone else doesn't. All levels of class, of fitness in my classes. You have about eight seconds. Rest. Remember, I don't know how heavy your pumpkin is either. Okay, love the next one. It's called a cross chop up over the head. One shoulder, cross chop down, up over the head. Cross chop down. Ready, go. Cross, cross chop. Integrate legs, not just arms. Integrate legs. Use core, because you're down to still six seconds. Finish and stop. Functionality, golfers. Pumpkin, golf swing. Pick it up. Start on one side low. Make sure that pumpkin is deep into your hands. Now. Crossing up, golf swing, power. Five seconds. Rest. Repeating the other direction. We're usually dominant on one side of the body versus the other, so it's important you do it both ways equally. Bring it up. Take it down low to the other foot. Ready? Golf swing. Stop. 
Sonic on the down. Engage. About six seconds. Set it down. Good. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more exercises standing. And then we're going down to the mat to finish. Pick it up. Hand eye coordination. This is gonna release the pumpkin every time. It can be fast or it can be big catch. Ready? Go. Release it. Release it. It's a great abdominal exercise when you catch it. Release it. Toss. Ten seconds left. Rest. Okay, we got one more move standing. Take a nice big deep breath. Bring the pumpkin into your hands. Squat swivels. For those of you who live in the snow, think snowboard. Those of you who are around the water, think paddleboard. Get a squat. The pumpkin's gonna stay in front. Ready? Squat swivels. You got it, you got it. Eight more. Five. Rest. Oh. Let's go down and just get a couple of abs stuff in here. Place yourself on your back. Bring the pumpkin down with you. Lie down. Extend both feet up. Lifting head and shoulders. Reach the toes. Going four rest one knee into the chest, other leg extended. Hold the pumpkin, but bring the elbow inside the knee head up. Now switch. Elbow touches the knee, pumpkin adds weight. Control. You got it, you got it. Finish it, rest. Final move, final move. Those of you who do Pilates, you may recognize this one from the series of five double leg stretch. Bring the knees into the chest, bring the elbows to the knees, head up. Legs go out, pumpkin goes up and out. Chin down, look up. Here we go, five seconds. Finish it and recover, good. Let's stay on the ground to stretch, bring your pumpkin somewhere to the side of you. Reach your arms out and the heels extended. Nice big reach. Grab hold of one leg, give it a nice little tug. Pull it in. Open that knee out to the side, opening the arm. For those of you who are instructors, looking for a lot of different content for your class, if you would like to do a pumpkin class, pull it across now and stretch out the hip. That was just a handful of exercises. I have probably a hundred more. If you are interested, message me. We'll connect 
and I'll share my notes with you on all the other exercises that I have. Now, just take this hip and just draw a circle with your knee. Leave a comment. Reverse it. Again, today was two reasons. As an instructor, we're always looking for new ideas. Go ahead and pull that other knee in. I'm always looking for new ideas, and I just couldn't find a lot of creative stuff online. So I just played for a while with a pumpkin and a medicine ball. Open the knee. It's important we keep our classes fun and exciting and new and different. So again, if you're an instructor looking for new ways to light, uh, lighten up your class, add some variety, go ahead and comment on the class and I will send you some notes with some other exercises. There's a whole bunch you can do. That was just a sliver. Now let that knee just circle the hips. You're just loosening up the hip. Anytime we brace into the belly, those hip sockets get so tight. Now grab hold of one leg and pull it up. Open into your straddle stretch and bring it over to a side bend. Think of all the moves you did today that incorporated that torso, arms, obliques, legs, pelvis. Really every single move you did. Up and over to the other side. If we forget that we can do things like use the pumpkin and hold a hand on it, we can use it as a weight. We can jump over it like an object. Lift up, take the hands behind your back, open up your chest and lengthen down your arms and biceps. And then bring those feet together. Push your weight up and lift your hips. Bend your knees and lift your heels. Push your heels down and lift your hips. Important to stretch your feet. Bend your knees, especially with the jumping you did. Heels down and hips up. Now bend your knees, head forward, hips back. Round under. Roll all the way up to the top. Roll those shoulders. Now your elbows. Now big arm circles. Take a nice big deep breath in. Exhale. Go have a lovely day. Happy Halloween, you guys. Thanks for coming again. If you're interested in more notes, put a message on there. We'll get in contact with each other. I'll send you a lot of my choreography notes. There's a lot more you can do with a pumpkin. If you're not a teacher, hope you had some fun with that. There's always pumpkins lying around. Again, happy Halloween. Thanks for joining me today. Check out my channel, Fitness with Jen Allen. Got a lot of stuff on there. Thanks again. Have a great day.